An armed pro-Russian militia has seized a bus carrying a team of international observers in eastern Ukraine. Monitors from the Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe are reportedly being held in the city of Slavyansk. Meantime, the U.S. says it's ready to impose new sanctions against Russia, while the Ukrainian prime minister is accusing Moscow of wanting to start World War III. We begin our coverage with CCTV's Roy Rettenberg in Kiev. These pictures, filmed by eyewitnesses, appear to show the aftermath of an explosion at an airfield near the eastern Ukrainian city of Kramatorsk. The head of Ukraine's anti-terrorism operation, Vasil Krutov, says a helicopter oil tank was fired upon, causing the blast and subsequent smoke and some injuries. Ukrainian security forces also confirmed on Friday that they've begun the second phase of their operation, surrounding the city of Slovyansk currently being held by pro-Russian groups. Officials say the move is aimed at ensuring the groups don't receive additional help and note that troops currently have no orders to go into the city of some 100,000 people. Meanwhile, in the regional capital Donetsk, a pro-Russian stronghold, local residents urge the West to stay out of Ukraine. Washington and the EU have been backing the central authorities in Kiev. As for the Kiev government, it's again that has sent in the troops here to exterminate their own people in the southeast. They want to bloody the peaceful people of the southeast. That's why we will stay here until the end and fight for justice. At the same time, a new poll in Ukraine showed an overwhelming countrywide opposition to Russian military intervention in the east. A sentiment echoed in rather strong words by Ukraine's Prime Minister. Sweet. The world has not yet forgotten the Second World War, but Russia is already keen on starting a Third World War. All responsibility for aggression on Ukraine territory and for undermining international security and stability rests with the leadership of the Russian Federation. It is the country that has violated the UN Charter. It is the country that has violated our bilateral obligations. It is the country that is behaving like a gangster, armed to the teeth. Ukraine's interim president, Alexander Turchinov, meanwhile met on Friday with top U.S. lawmakers, including Carl Levin. The head of the U.S. Senate Armed Services Committee vowed to offer support to the government here to stop what he called Moscow's aggressive plans. For now, the violence and confrontations only appear to be spreading. An attack on a pro-government checkpoint near the southern city of Odessa left some seven people injured. Until now, the area has been relatively calm. Rowie Ruttenberg, CCTV, Kiev.